the person who have a, having enormous resources or commitments or a powerful post, they cannot travel. So the commitments and this one, he has kept it low in order to travel. His family is being given in full freedom to travel. So first of all, I cannot uh, afford this much of time. And that is the luxury that you have in life, that you have traveled 96 countries, that means at least three times a year you have been traveling. So that is the very greatest uh, gift given by the God to you. And the resources to travel. Now the point is that even if we think that we have to travel to all these countries, what he experienced, we will not be able to experience. The reason being, he has gone 40, 40 years ago. Even 20 years ago when I used to travel to Hyderabad and Bangalore, there is no airport. Hyderabad, I used to land in a different airport, only one flight from Madras to Hyderabad. So how difficult it would have been 40 years ago to travel all over the, country, all over the world. And what is the type of experience that you would have gotten is written in the book that I have not read so far. I am sure the author would have done a good job. But the point is, even if we go, it is completely globalized now. So any country you go, all multinationals, complete lifestyle is changed. Whatever you see in India, you see in UK, you see in Singapore, you see in America, everywhere. So there is no change in country. What you live here, even traveling, you will not experience unless you take a trip to adventure by trekking or any other things. The good old days we would have gone, that would have been experience. Today, uh, you go, my travel is very simple. I go to the hotel, I go to my job, come back to the hotel, take the flight back. And all are uh, uh, globalized. So I don't see any difference nowadays for the kids, I don't see any difference. But you would have got through a lot of experience in 40 years ago. I'm sure the kids should read this and see how this uh, countries are. And I have gone through the police or that would have not been a need for you and you should not go that side also. But he has been doing a very big service. He is a very powerful police officer sitting very humbly and been there to office so many times. He is a very helping personality. He is a law graduate, become a police officer, come to the DGP level. We hope and pray that he takes over the state as a DGP in the years to come. And remaining all dignitaries, I am, I am not, this is the first time getting introduced, so I don't know about, much about them. Second, I am not a family friend to Sridhar, so I don't know what for he has called me. There can be only two reasons. One is that I am the chairman of this Madras Race Club, or it's emergency gap to receive the first copy of it. I am neither a good speaker also. But whatever I can see or grasp in this five minutes is that he is a blessed man.